Hello Virgo, thanks for stopping by. We're getting ready to do your love reading. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Virgo in love. Let's see what the mutual energy between you and your love interest is in the recent past. We have the Four of Wands. I just got that for another. All right, Four of Wands energy means that you both want stability. You both really love spending time together. You have a very strong foundation. You feel like life with each other is really happy. It's good. It's joyful. You feel as though you really have met your person. We're getting here the energy for the current energy is a Hierophant card. So you may be married to your best friend. We do see, however, right now that there is some unreliability. We have the Seven of Swords reversed in terms of how your person, Virgo, views the situation with you. They feel as though life is upside down, they don't really know what's wrong, but they know something's wrong or that's how they feel. The Seven of Swords reversed is a, one of the better reversals. It means that they're where there might have been some sort of lie or dishonesty, it does show that your person at this time is open to trying to figure out what's going on, but they're very uncomfortable with the situation. Your person really views the situation as very uncertain, something that has really left them feeling uncomfortable, the way they ver view you, Virgo, is somebody who left or who might have ghosted them. They view you as a person who has given up on them or the relationship. How do they feel in their heart space? The Ten of Coins that flipped over in the deck. That is your energy, Virgo. There you are in your reading. So your person really feels as though they have had this really, really great connection with you. And it went... It went somewhere that they don't understand. They just don't understand. They view you as a person, again, who's, you know, packed up and walked away. And in their heart space, they really love the loyalty. They want stability and loyalty. They want some sort of committed, long-term relationship with you in which both of you give a lot to the relationship. There's a lot of abundance. The Eight of Cups, right now, it looks like you're in separation. Uh, your person uh, views you as having once again turned their back on, have turned your back on them. That you've walked away. They feel as though it's over. They don't feel as though there's any chance that there's going to be a restoration. They're just, you know, it also looks like with three marriage cards, it also appears that there may be a relationship in which one person was married, the other person isn't. The hidden energy in the um, between the two of you is the King of Cups energy. It really shows us that you both love each other, but you're not talking about it. You don't speak about it. You're staying very calm on the surface. Spirit says that you need to address this. Spirit is, is the suggestion of spirit is stop ignoring each other. That, you know, the truth needs to be told to get resolution, to be kind to each other, to be respectful to each other. Ace of Coins, that is a new offer coming in for love and or. That's both of you deciding to really, really have a talk, to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk, to sit down together, to talk about your shared feelings about this. The Ace of Coins is a very important card because it can indicate an engagement ring and it's very good intention. It does look like somebody is likely to make an apology, and or you both will, but it also is, it looks like you make up. That's what it looks like. It looks like the two of you are going to have a new beginning that's very solid. The Five of Cups says that both of you have been hurting. It really looks almost as though, it looks like one person, Virgo, and your person thinks it was you just decided to abandon the relationship, but the Two of Cups is your outcome. It does look like there's a reconciliation. It does look like there's a heart-to-heart -heart talk. It looks as though you open up with each other. You share your thoughts and feelings. So let's go ahead and clarify your cards for you, Franco. So it does look like you're in separation, but it does look as though you're going to have a chance to reunite if you want to. Why 
is the Four of Wands here? Why is the energy of the Four of Wands here? Hopes and dreams for love coming true. You were one another's wish fulfillment at one time in the recent past. This is Aquarius energy, very enlightened energy. It's very progressive energy. It's the kind of energy that really speaks to the heart and the soul and being real and being honest and being yourselves, being your best self. There's something about the two of you that's quite magical. You're both rock stars in your own right. Look at this. It's like, honey, I'm home. I want to come home to you. The energy is very beautiful. It's like, you know, let's, let's do something. Let's create something. Let's create stability. But Virgo, your person sees you as a person who didn't value them because we get the Queen of Swords. They feel as though, you know, you should have made them an offer and yet the offer never came. The offer is for stability. Let me make that clear. The offer is for stability. It looks as though, you know, you, you watch each other on social media or you try to keep tabs on one another. It also is the Empress energy. This is Taurus energy. So, Virgo, your person is really quite sought after. You see them, you hold them in high regard. Other people hold them in high regard. They're very desirable in the dating, you know, sort of marketplace, if you want to say that. Um, your person's going to get an offer from another pretty soon. So it does show that your person is going to settle into a relationship soon doesn't look like it's with you at this point. So they view you as someone who walked away, who just gave up and walked away. You've got two tens here. The death card, there we go. So they see you as a person who ended this relationship. They feel as though your heart space is with a family. Maybe you're married, maybe you got married, maybe you were married, maybe you, um, you know, you, you've decided to love somebody else is, is the way this is coming up. Is that you've decided to love somebody else, but you still have feelings for this person. The Taurus King, though, is reversed. There's something about your relationship that you're in right now, Virgo, that your person sees as being upside down. They feel as though the happiness that you try to present externally is not the case. Interesting, okay. The Eight of Cups, why did, your person wants to know why you walked away. Your person wants to know why you walked away. It's been very, it's very been very difficult for them. Nine of Swords, remorse, regret. Very difficult energy, Gemini energy. That's a Gemini card up in their head. They really struggled with this. They really struggled. It doesn't seem like you really talk to them. I'm not, I feel as though you turned your back on them because that's, they're, they're viewing you as being the queen of swords energy, which means that you left them behind, but you didn't tell them. You didn't tell them anything. All right. Your person would like to at least talk this through with you. They would like to be at peace with it. They would like to be balanced with you. They care about you. They want the best for you. Sagittarius energy could be different cultures, different races, different ethnicities, come from different parts of the world. That's Sagittarius, right? Ninth house on the astrology wheel, okay. So, the hidden energy between the two of you is this beautiful card of the King of Cups. You love each other. You just don't talk about it. You don't act on it. You don't do anything about it. You're, you're both being very, very uh, platonic. You're both being very silent. You're both just sort of in your own thoughts, in your own world. You're not sharing anything with each other. It does look like the elephant in the room is here. It's both, it's well known. It looks Virgo like your person, and the way this is reading, and energies can be vice versa, you can flip them, but it does look like you are married to somebody with whom you don't seem to be happy. The Three of Swords indicates a third party situation. 
It does show that you both still feel very romantic towards each other. It does look as though there's something about your relationship. Again, I've gotten this twice. There's something about your relationship that says, honey, I'm home and it's happy. So it does show that there's a lot of warmth. There's a lot of love between the two of you. The love itself is stable. The circumstances are not stable. But, you know, it does show this night energy. So what I'm getting, Virgo, is your person does not think that you lied to them about the third party situation. I feel as though you disclosed that to them for the and for those with whom it resonates. Third parties can be sometimes families, it can be a sick parent, it can be a child, it can be a divorce in which you know you're so busy you don't have time for the person. But what we're seeing here is that Virgo, your person thought felt that you didn't value them enough to really make the effort that needed to be made. The Two of Swords says that you've been ignoring each other. The Five of Cups says that you're both really unhappy. That life for either of you has not been the same. Look at that. Look at, we see it twice. Why is the Ace of Coins here for you, Virgo? Why is the Ace of Coins in the outcome? Why is the Ace of Coins? The World card and the Ace of Wands. Okay. So what we're getting here again is another card that says that the two of you had you met at a different time in a different place. Like, you know, life is like that, right? Well, if only. It does look like both of you want a new beginning. You both definitely want a new beginning. You want to close out a cycle of sadness with one another. You definitely want to come into a closer union with each other. The Two of Cups is, is it's almost like a secret marriage. There, what is it, Hearst, Randolph Hearst and his lover were, they were never married. He was married to someone else, but they had a very good life together. They lived together, they shared a lot together. It's kind of a weird thing. It's almost like the two of you would be okay without traditional marriage. Very interesting. The Ace of Wands has a passion's off the charts. Formal marriage is not required by either one of you, but you definitely want to be able to go the distance. You both like to travel. You'd like to travel together. So the energy that I'm getting here says that the two of you will make amends, you may get back together, you may decide that you can't stand being apart. Let's see what the message of Love Oracle cards say for you, Virgo. What does Virgo need to know about this? Marriage. This relationship is moving towards sacred union. Okay, that's very much what I said here. Randolph uh, uh, Hearst with his, I can't remember his lover's name. They lived like they were married even though they weren't. They were a very public couple even though they weren't married directly. So the marriage looks like it's very emotional between the two of you. It looks as though you're both very fact-driven people. It looks like you're, you love each other, you want the best for each other, but it doesn't look like you're in union at the moment, but it looks like you're going to reconcile integrity. Does this situation align with your moral values? Okay, so Virgo, it looks like you may have left because you felt guilty. You may have left because you, you felt like you weren't being an upstanding citizen. Your person understands a lot about you. Interference and external party is intruding. There we go, third party situation, as I said. Okay, so it does look like the two of you have been in separation. Probably nine or ten months with the ten of coins here. Um... It looks like you haven't seen each other for a long time. It looks like you haven't talked to each other in a long time. So let's go ahead and see what the wisdom of the oracle says about the relationship. This is a wisdom from spirit. You know, what, what does spirit have to say about this connection between the two of you? Okay. A loyal heart. You're very loyal to each other. And the heart space. You really love each other. You're emotionally wet, if not, even if you're in separation. There's a lot of feeling here, a higher power. You're both very spiritual. 
both very, very spiritual. You're both orphaned. So both of you may have lost a parent early in your life. That's one of the reasons, that's one of the things that brought you together. Orphaned, you are orphan. you kind of have each other in the orphanage now, so to speak. You're both orphaned because you haven't been together, but this speaks very loudly to the fact that spirit brought you together to heal some feelings of being wounded from the time that you were very young, that you would be very loyal to each other in that way. Let's see what the sacred destiny has in store for you to wrap up the reading. Let's see what is the sacred destiny of this relationship. What is the sacred destiny of this relationship for Virgo and their significant other? Delight. Oh, that's so sweet. That is such a beautiful card. Look at that energy. Just being together. It's just so fulfilling. It's fun. It's delightful. It really looks like your relationship is so sweet. It's honest. It does It does look like you're going to move forward. The sun is shining. The rays are coming through the trees. You're seeing a way to share your love with each other. You know, we're really seeing that there is a way to have this, you know, this pathway forward gateway. Mm, the unicorn is a very exciting and unusual relationship. So Virgo, that is your reading. Sending you love. Bye-bye. Take care. Thank you.